What's up, IHS, and Happy New Year. I'm your host, Evie Schreiner. And I'm Dina Huisa. This week, we'll be covering the Ithaca Teachers Rally, the government shutdown, and a local fire. After school on Thursday, December 20th, approximately 50 teachers were joined by over 75 students to chair on the Ithaca Teachers Association as they entered the ICSD district office building to begin negotiations for their next contract. Historically, Ithaca teachers have been paid far below surrounding districts and are hoping to receive a respectable raise. The teachers sat down with the ITA to discuss the actual schedule of meetings and what both sides agreed to in terms of process. The actual negotiation day will be taking place next week on January 24th. Mrs. Schenk, a teacher at IHS, mentions, while we're in the midst of that negotiation, there will not be public information because there's the belief that we should be doing the negotiations not in the public eye. So at that point, we will be starting the true meat of the process. On January 8th, the 17th day of the partial government shutdown, of the U.S. government, President Donald Trump delivered an address on illegal immigration. The nine-minute broadcast from the Oval Office was used as a way for the president to push Congress to fund the construction of the wall on the U.S.-Mexican border. Trump's refusal to sign a resolution to keep the federal government open in the absence of funding for the wall has led to the shutdown. In the speech, Trump says, every day Customs and Border Protection agents encountered thousands of illegal immigrants trying to enter our country. We are out of space to hold them, and we have no way to promptly return them back to their home country. The address and response from Democrats had drawn a total of 43.3 million viewers. The shutdown is beginning to affect people, as many government employees have not been paid while still being required to work. Democrat speaker, Democratic Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi has publicly, publicly requested the State of the Union speech to be delayed bringing to question the safety of the event, as many in the Department of the Homeland Security and the Secret Service have not been paid. Late Wednesday night, a fire erupted in a house on Lynn Street. Although the cause of the fire has not yet been determined, the damage it has done is clear. The roof and walls of the house collapsed, but luckily the two occupants and three dogs living in the house were able to make it out unharmed. The Ithaca Fire Department spent around 12 hours working hard to prevent the fire from spreading to the nearby houses, and ultimately we're able to extinguish it. Well, that's it for this week, IHS. See you next time.